Hello, um, in this video today, I'm going to explain about an econ economic news manager uh, that we currently offer on our website. Now, first of all, I'm going to go into explain why you would want to manage your trades before uh, a high impact news release, or why would you want um, warning messages on the charts or sent to you by telegram or an SMS onto your phone just before a news event's about to happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drag this uh, picture across. Now, this just goes to show an NFP report that come, came out on the 3rd of April. It's a historical, obviously, chart. Now, if you have a look at this long candle here, if you can see it, first of all, it spiked really high, bullish. Um, that would have taken out many people's stops. And then it came all the way down uh, much further, 110 pips down. So what would normally happen within that one hour of a news event is that it's pretty much unpredictable. Nobody really knows um, what's going to happen with a news event because if you did, you'd be trading it and you'd be making money all the time. You could have a rough idea, but um, it doesn't really help. So because a lot of people's or a lot of retail traders are using technical automated trading systems or they're manually trading um, using on technical indicators, um, when a news event happens, it's fundamental, the technical indicators go out the window. So the idea behind our tool is that it will warn you or it will close open positions um, a set period of time before the main news release. So if you see the previous red candle there, because this is a one hour chart, that previous red, red candle there, I don't know if you can see it, if you were to uh, close your open positions or if you were to manage your um, existing trades, prior to this news release, you would have avoided all this volatility and you would have avoided losing a large amount of money. Now, if you've got stops, that's great. If you don't have stops, um, it'll just keep going and keep um, making it worse, really. So you can also see there was a lot of noise after the news release. Now, if you remember this bit, after a news event, there is a lot of noise and until it market kind of goes back to where it was previously. This, this is a pattern that happens a lot on news events. Um, so you look at it, it's the same pattern nearly always. It normally kind of balances back out and the technical indicators will probably take over all the banks, whatever, and it will carry on doing what it's doing. So what I'm going to show you is the tool that we um, have got on offer on our website, and I'll actually go into detail about how that can help your trading. So this is Ctrader version four. I'm going to double click on the keyboard just to open up um, the list of products. So I'm going to choose the uh, News Calendar Pro. Now I'm going to start it down here. It's a standard C Trader C bot. Um, if you're not familiar with our products or C Trader in general, <clears throat> if you look at the product page, which I'm going to show you afterwards, and it's also in a link at the bottom of the YouTube page, it'll actually explain how to download and install and open up a C Trader C bot. So I'm going to start it now, and it will just go through a license verification, and then it will open up. Now, to keep the cost down for this product for everybody, um, we just load in free news events from MyFX book. So you can actually load in up to three months at a time. So you don't have to touch it for three months. And I'll just quickly show you MyFX book. I'll drag it across. So if you click on this button here, it'll actually open up MyFX book anyway, but I'll just show you the page. So in here, you can see all the economic news events for different various uh, Forex symbols, um, whether they're high impact, low or medium. Also the date that the uh, news events are about to happen and you've got a previous and consensus there as well. Now I'm gonna show you a user guide later on, one of the user guides and it actually explains how to download this onto your desktop. So you just download it as a CSV file. Um, actually I'm gonna show you now. So if you wanted to download it as a CSV file, you go to, again, I'll show you the links for this later. I click here and it says loading news events. This will go into detail about loading the news events download it as a CSV file, and we use that CSV file to load it onto this application. And there's also another video here that actually goes into um, a tutorial, step-by-step -step tutorial to actually help you do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I've already downloaded the uh, CSV file already, um, and I just click on the load news, and it's, this is the file now, I open. Okay, it's loaded up the file. Uh, the first thing you see is the uh, currency symbol, the date that the news events are about to happen, the event that's about to happen. So we've got a president bid and speech coming up. It's a high impact news event and it's at 1945. Now, if you look up here with the little red countdown timer, so that's telling you that in one hour and six minutes, this news, news event's about to happen, okay? Um, so if you scroll down, it tells you all the various ones that are there for different currency symbols. Um, and then I'm gonna go into how to filter this chart in a minute, this, sorry, this grid with the data. Um, but you can actually also show on the chart, if you look at the chart on the right hand side, you can see a red line and a green line. That corresponds to the um, high impact news release that's coming out at 1945. And the green line is the um, total net TIC flows, which is at 10 o'clock. So it'll actually show you on a chart, so you might wanna minimize this or take it off. And then as you're trading, you wanna see on the chart there, 
A couple of limitations is it only shows it on the chart that you launched the CBOT. So it's not, not perfect, but it's the best we could do right now. You can also click on historical. So this will show you all the historical. If you look at there, the events are now 147. If I uncheck that, it's got 98 live future events that are about to happen. So these are historical tra uh, events that have happened in the past. If you just wanted to go back and have a look at them, it grays them out once they're done. And the next one up is coming up is, is, uh, is red. OK, so um, what, you, what you can do with this first page, the news events page, is you can just filter and only you can unselect all of them. And I only want to see Euro USD on the chart. Where did he go? USD, there it is. Dunk. OK, that. And that's only going to show me um, 30 events of um, USD news releases that are about to happen. So you've got the full filter there where you can actually um, slide, you know, you can clear the filter and how load them all. Um, again, you can do the date, you can do date filtering. So you can actually select the dates that you want to filter on. Um, and you can also filter the impact. So I only want to see high impact news events. And it only shows you high impact news events. It's pretty straightforward. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is go to the next tab. Before I do, if you click on the user manual there, it will actually take you to this page here, which is actually the user manual for the product. Uh, let's quickly go through it. You've got um, an overall guide, um, introduction there, and there's all the video that's going to be down there. <clears throat> Sorry, how to load the news events, which I've already covered. How to filter news events, which I briefly covered then. How to filter your news events. Um, the news alerts tab, so how to set up your Telegram, email, and SMS um, accounts, and what kind of notifications you can be sent. And the news calendar API, I'll go through that later. It shows you how to integrate that into your existing automated trading systems. So I'll just go through the tabs now. So on Trade Manager, this is actually a new feature we've just published, sorry, published, we've just added to the product. Now, the whole idea behind this is you've got two um, different features that you can use this tool for. One is um, Trade Manager. Now, what this does, this will close any open positions um, that are that are related to the news event that's about to happen. So if the news event that's about to happen is uh, Euro USD or USD, any trade that's got USD or currency symbol pair that's got USD in it, like GBP USD or Euro USD, it will close those. So it will close any, any um, currency pair that has the symbol that's about to have the news release. So it's pretty straightforward. Now you can specify in minutes when you want that to happen. So you can have 60 minutes or 60 minutes prior to the, main, the news event. And you can select only high impact news events. You want to you want to close all open positions. Now to do that, you just select on there, and it tells you it's active. Once you've got that active uh, and you've configured it, it will actually close all positions for any news release that's coming out, but only related for the symbols or the currency pairs for that news event. Okay, and this explains it a little bit more detail here. And if you select medium only, it will only do medium. Uh, we've given you the option for low, but um, very rarely that you would actually close your positions on a, on a low impact news event. So this should save you um, a little bit of heartbreak so that, you know, just prior to um, high impact news events, you just get out. You don't, you don't even gamble. You don't want to, you, you don't want to do that. So this tool is very useful for doing that for any manual trades that you've currently got open or any automated system trades that you've got open. Now, if you've got a system that's continually adding trades after that news event or during that's, this doesn't cover that. It only covers existing open positions prior to the news event. Now news alerts is a very useful feature. So what this will do um, before, again, before a news event, and this is independent, you can specify how many minutes before the news event, you can have an email sent to you to say that that event's about to happen. If you're using Telegram, which is very popular now with um, retail traders, you can have a Telegram message. It's an instant message sent directly to your mobile phone or your desktop or a web application the moment, oh, sorry, just before a, ne a major news release. So this is very useful for uh, many people using that now because it's free. You can use Telegram, you can download it from the uh, Play Store or, or Android Store, and you can actually install it on your phone, it's free, and you get instant messages. Um, you've got also SMS messages for those of you that still prefer SMS text messages. Um, and we actually show you in detail. Again, I'll show you on the user guide um, and on the product page of how to actually set this up. So you buy a load of credits. We don't do it our way. You just buy a load of credits, super cheap. It's like 0.01% or point, sorry, 0.001 pence per SMS. So it's pretty cheap. And again, you can have a pop-up message displayed and it's only stayed on for 60 seconds. You can also have a sound alert. So prior to a news event, you can have an email sent to you, a Telegram instant message, an SMS message, a pop-up message, and a sound alert. So all of those together should cover every scenario to inform you that a news event's about to happen. Um, and whatever you're doing on your charts, whether you're sat down 
away from your charts, you know that you need to be back on your PC and to manage those trades. But also the trade manager is very useful if you're not in the office and you're, you've got trades open and you know there's a high impact news event that's about to happen. You haven't got time to go back to your computer and actually um, close those trades. This will do it for you. You do need this product up and running for it to happen. Um, otherwise, it just won't work. Now, again, news event log, this just tells you um, all the information that's happened historically, like uh, any news event that's occurred, any uh, positions that have closed and stuff like that. Now, another thing that we've got with this feature is an API. So an API application program is interface. What that means is, if I just show you over here, if I just take this off. Now, this product also provides um, an API that you can plug into it. And you can actually, and there's a video for this one as well. Um, if you've watched that one, it'll explain it. It means that if you've got an automated trading system and you want to load and you want to use these news events that have been loaded up into this, um, you can use this API in your in your CBOTs, automated trading systems, and you can um, close your trades through the through your CBOTs. You don't have to have it manually closed there. So you've got more control of adding this logic into your existing trading systems. So it's got an API that you can plug into it to do that. So if you've got any ideas um, to improve this, if there's anything you see that you could actually improve it and you'd like to see it, just go to, um, let's drag this across. We've also got on our website, um, sorry, a separate site called ctrader.info and ctrader.info has got a new suggestions area so you can add new suggestions. So what I'm gonna do now is just close that one and close the user guide. Um, also, again, I'll show you the user guide's got various information of setting everything up. Now, on our website, this is the actual product page. We're currently selling it for $29.99. Now, if you go to our website, you can download a trial, which is a 14-day trial, and you can use that. It's the same as the, as the paid version. Um, and then if I scroll down the page here, it's got some more information and links going to the user guides. This is the pop-up window that comes up that tells you an alert's about to happen. Um, it goes through and tells you about the um, limitations and stuff like that. Um, the API, as I've showed you, and also the trade manager, news alerts. Now, I'll just quickly go into uh, news alerts. Again, in the user guide, it does explain how to set up your token and chat ID for your Telegram. Um, we can't support getting those details, but we provide a lot of information to help you get your token and chat ID for your Telegram credentials. And also, we provide videos and, and uh, a, a lot more information, again, on setting up your SMS. Uh, this video is going to replace this one here because this is an old video. Um, here you can shows you how to install and open a CBOT. If you need to chat to us about anything, you can just send us a message that opens up um, our instant chat support page. It's a Telegram support page and you can ask us anything. It's a lot faster to do that than emails or anything like that. And I think that is the way we prefer people contact us. And again, you've got the user guide there just by clicking on the user guide. So that should give you um, everything you need to get going and to get started. Um, if you find any bugs with the system, you can report it easily by going to support, report a bug. That takes us to the ctrader.info page and you can just report a bug here. We don't have any open at the moment and we've closed all these bugs down here. So you can access it through there. I'm babbling on a bit now, sorry. And on support, um, you've got various things for registering your product. Anyway, I think that's everything. I think that's everything you need. So that is the product. Um, and if you're not familiar with who we are or you're not actually looking at our YouTube channel, which you should be, um, come to our YouTube channel. We've got many videos on Ctrader. We've got many different videos on our products that we give away for free. And we've also got a complete Ctrader tutorial of how to actually use the trading platform. So just come to our Ctrader uh, yeah, uh, YouTube channel and subscribe to it. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up because the videos and the likes and all the rest of it really helped our company grow. Thank you very much.